Hey everyone, I'm Andrew and welcome to Tech Check. In today's video, I'll be unboxing my brand new graphics card. This here is the EVGA FTW3 Ultra RTX 3060 Ti. So usually, this is where I'd go over the whole box, look at everything with you, but a lot of people don't seem to like that. And I know right now, all you want to do is see this card. So we're going to do that right away. I have my trusty unboxing knife here. And to open this, you should just have to cut this tape right here on the end. Let's try not destroy this box because I really do want to keep it in good condition. All right, we got that sliced open. Always close your knife when you're not using it. Make sure there's no accidents. And now we're going to flip up this tab. Oh, did I cut enough? There we go. Flip it up to reveal. Oh, okay, so it's not a cardboard box. It is in plastic. We'll just pull that right out so you can see. Oh, it's not even in like the regular static packaging. There's nothing else in the box. Don't know if you can see that, but nothing else in there. So I'll throw that to the side. And as you can see, there's the graphics card. So how about we open this up? Looks to be connected at the back here and just should separate right here. Sorry for the shaky camera there. And you have your EVGA GeForce GTX GeForce RTX installation guide. I'm not going to look at that right now because I believe this is what everybody wants to see. Sorry for that cut there. My cat started meowing and, well, yeah, kind of ruined the shot. But I still haven't taken it out. It's still all right here. From what I can see, we have a full plastic uh, wrap that is covering all of it. Uh, a peel, plastic peel. Uh, looks to be a black PCB with also a black bracket. That's good, especially if you have a black case or something. You don't really want that silver chrome bracket sitting in there, just not blending with anything. So we're going to pull out this graphics card and take a look at it. Okay. Oh, it's in there tight. And it's a big boy. It's heavy. It's heavy because it's got that metal back plate, right? There it is right there, which also looks to have a protective peel on it. You have some... Cut uh, cutouts for that blow through design. Uh, as I said, not a graphics card reviewer. This is basically my first ever high end unit, and I just wanted to share it with everyone. It, I, uh, this is the three blade model. I did notice, even though it's the FTW Ultra model, it seems to have like the XC3 cooler, maybe? I don't know. The FTW3, I thought they were aligned different. And it doesn't matter. I just, just something I noticed. It does have the dual eight pins. Um, I'm not seeing any kind of bio switch yet, at least. Uh, that looks to be the fan connector right there. Uh, you do have the vertical heat sink. So if you have it like vertically mounted, the air is going to come out the top and bottom. Well, it's going to come out the top and bottom no matter what. Um, yeah, I really like this card and I think I got to get it in. Oh, also one other thing about this card is that... Uh, this does have RGB, which can be turned off, and unlike most RGB uses, this actually doesn't look bad when it's off. So, you know, I might actually just keep it off, because I currently have no RGB in my system and don't really want to add any. But yeah, that's about it for the unboxing. <sighs> I'm going to throw this in my computer and see how it works. Now in my rush to actually get the card open and installed, I totally skipped over explaining the I.O. and what it has, so I've just pulled up the EVGA product page, which has some great pictures of the card, like right over here, where it's actually showing you the fan connectors, which I thought was up here, but no, they're down here. That up there is probably an RGB connector, um, as well as the three fan design, which I actually think I said a three blade design. Nope, more than three blades. Uh, and the main thing that I missed out, which is the next picture here, is actually the rear I.O., which has a three display ports and a single HDMI. Unlike some others, which have dual HDMI and just two display ports, this one is three in one. And it continues the same kind of hexagonal, hexagonal pattern that was on the back plate right here down the entire PCI Express bracket. As you can see, there that the card itself is basically just a two slot card. It sticks out just a little bit, but I would call this a two slot card. And it's the same height as the PCI bracket, so I would basically call this a standard height card. Unlike some of the others that are out, which are way up here, taking up a ton of space, this, this won't take up as much space in your case, but it is a smaller cooler, so your temps are going to be a little bit higher than some of those big honking ones. 
Uh, otherwise, that's about it for the overview of the card. So let's get back to the video. So it's actually been a few days since I installed the 3060 Ti into my system here because I wanted to get some gaming done before I gave my final thoughts on this card. And spoiler alert, I love it. Actually, the only thing I didn't love was in the first place that uh, at the stock fan curves, I was finding the temperatures kind of high. It was getting up to about 76 degrees. But I easily solved that issue by throwing on a custom fan curve in Microsoft Afterburner, not Microsoft, MSI Afterburner, I should say. Wow, big mistake on my part there. And that instantly, just by bumping it up about 10% more than EVGA stock by checking the RPMs when this was running with the stock fan curve compared to what I ran, I'm now just running 69, sometimes hitting 70 degrees. We're on scene 11 of 17 in Unigen Superposition, I believe it's called, and with 99% utilization on 1440p, extreme, full textures, everything like that, just barely hitting 70. 69, 70, 69, 70. This fan is keeping this card awesome. The graphics clock is fluctuating between 1935 and 1950. That's that's a pretty good clock considering I think uh, this is only rated at 1800 uh, and that's overclocked uh, no not overclocked but the ultra model compared to just the straight FTW3 model uh, I haven't had to overclock this or anything and the performance I'm getting from this is just amazing I can't believe the upgrade I really thought I wanted a 3070 or 3080 but I just don't have that kind of money and this is like way more than I could have expected. So if you're looking for mid to high range graphics card, look at that 4400 right on the dot. I'm getting like high 4300s, low 4400s today. And that's on a Ryzen 7 2700 with uh, 32 gigs of RAM and RTX 3060 Ti on driver 460.89, uh, Windows 10 build 18363. So yeah, this is the performance you can expect out of your EVGA GeForce RTX 3060 Ti FTW3 model. Well, thanks for watching my unboxing of EVGA's RTX 3060 Ti FTW3 Ultra model. If you're interested in learning more about this card or learning more about EVGA's Notify Me system, I'll have some links posted in the description below where you can do just that. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up leave a comment, and possibly subscribe. I'm Andrew, and this was Tech Check.